that is the arms core. Your guys are going to have to take my word for it. Gene here, by the way, G Squared Tactical. We got the Walther P22. I have already done a tabletop on this gun. Um, because of how many people we had that talked about complaints and barrels they blew through and failures to feed and issues like that. No matter really with any ammunition, I was saying, well, maybe if you use hotter ammunition, which is what I was told, maybe you would do a lot better with it. And there was those that were still saying, no, it's still going to have problems, failure to feed, you need to polish the feed ramp, replace the recoil spring, things of that nature. Uh, you're going to have to take my word for this, but we shot through, I guess this is uh, 50 50 rounds of the CCI Stinger 1640 foot per second and it was flawless. We wanted you guys to see the very first rounds that was shot through it but my audio guy dropped the uh, dropped the ball, Trey Bowler. Say hey Trey. And so we did get it on video but we had to erase it because the audio was jacked up and you couldn't hear anything. So I guess you'll have to trust us that it did run through those 50 rounds flawlessly. What I am shooting now is the arms core. I've looked diligently on this box trying to find the foot per second, but I have not been able to find it. It just says high velocity. So I guess it's high velocity. But the first mag that you just saw shot there was with the arms core high velocity and we did not have any issues and again I promise you that this is the first rounds through this gun I did not take this gun down there's a chance I may not even know how to take this gun down because I haven't even tried so it has not been cleaned any oil that's on it is factory oil and it was not cleaned by me nothing was polished no no recoil springs were replaced it is just how you see it we don't get paid by anyone to say anything's good. We just report what we see. And if we start to have some failures, well, you'll probably be the first to know about it and see it on camera. And it seems to be, you know, quite accurate, too. I mean, the sights are relatively easy to pick up. I mean, you know, of course, not the... Not the best in the world, but uh, they're relatively easy to pick up. I think you guys know that I'm a fan of the mag release underneath the trigger or behind the trigger guard here. I know a lot of folks aren't, but I, it allows me to use my index finger on my shooting hand to, uh, to drop the magazine. I don't know. Some people like it. Some people don't. So, so far I have been through, I guess it's 10, two 10 round magazines. So that's 20 rounds and then 50 rounds of the CCI here. So, so far we have been through, what is that? Uh, 20 and 50, 70 rounds. And I would think, this has just been my experience in the past anyway, that if, uh, if a gun is known for having issues of any kind, failures to feed, um, any type of issue like that, it usually shows up during the first shots, it's it's uh, something that sometimes it grows out of, so to speak. So I, I would I would have thought that if those issues would have existed for me, that it would have been in the first shots, and I did not see or have not had a single failure as of yet. Now I will say that so far for me, maybe it's just because of the way it's made, I have had not had the the. Um, the word I'm looking for the success I guess you could say that I had with the Taurus uh, 22 that we did the review on um, and I would say so far I, I probably think that the the Taurus is probably which, which Taurus is that yeah the CX 22 yeah I, I would say that's uh, as of this point I mean I would say that because the TX 22 has the H and K what I call the H and K style grip on it and everything is probably still more, I guess, 
feels better in the hand, maybe a little more fun to shoot, but really anything that's accurate is fun to shoot. And this thing at least seems as accurate as the TX-22 was. Not so sure it'll be able to shoot it as fast as it did the TX-22, but uh, before this is all over, we'll give it a shot. We'll let Trey do that since he's a TX-22 guy. Sure, if you guys are able to see the target, but I don't think I've gotten one. I mean, it's not all of them are not dead in the same spot, but I don't think one has went off. And we're shooting about we're shooting about eight yards. Trey's walking away, walking away, acting like. He hearing and knowing I got the lapel mic on my shirt here so you probably didn't hear anything he said but I'll tell you he said I was awesome that's that's all oh okay so I am awesome then that's what you were saying okay so <laughs> so we're what uh, 80 rounds in still no problem you know that's one hand one well, I don't Let's limp wrist it. See if we can make it fail to move, you know? I held it as lightly as I could possibly hold it. Trying to get it to fail to feed, and I haven't had an issue so far. The guy that I bought the, uh, well, the store that I bought the gun from told me that because I, I voiced my concerns, I was either going to buy this one or the SR-22, which, by the way, I love. And I voiced my concerns or concerns I had heard of others about the failures to feed and things like that. And he assured me that if I used high-velocity ammunition, that I wouldn't have that problem. And so far, he, he's been correct about that. I will say that I, I don't know if the TX-22 is it's a striker fired, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a hammer fired, so I don't know if that's the difference. I can't get on the trigger as quickly. I can't rapid fire as quickly as I did with the TX-22. I would say overall, I like the look of this one better. I like this color scheme. I really like the, I guess, the... Um, the way that it feels, not necessarily, what I mean by that is the texturing and stuff on this one. I like the way that it feels in my hand. It's kind of got a softer, rubbery type feel uh, versus the TX-22. But surprisingly, I'm a, I'm a fan of that TX-22. In so much as that, I, was, I had been looking for a, a black one, but me and Trey kind of had this... Uh, this deal where we wouldn't buy the same gun so that we could uh, review them on the channel and so forth. And so one day, you know, maybe Trey will be hard up or something and I'll get that TX-22 off of him because uh, it sure was a blast to shoot. And even more so once ammo becomes available. Man, that poor clothespin, it ain't gonna make it. the 44 if you hadn't seen the 44 garbage ammo video then uh, you can go look at it it was some ammunition my friend had sitting out on his front porch Trey's a talking to him I had the lapel way over there get what yeah yeah well I should put that one on there to see if it'll feed that one Put that dirty round. Let's put that dirty round in there, like, see if it'll feed. 
but uh, it's like an it's like an olive drab or what Johnny Patriot Patriot Brown almost would be. Um, I'm telling you right now, I'm not even sure what this lead nose ammunition is, but uh, it's not good ammunition. Let's put it that way. It sat on my friend's porch in a five-gallon bucket that a friend of his gave me. God only knows how long it sat there. Uh, I'm sure that there's some moisture in it. So if it's going to fail to feed without being cleaned, this is going to be when it happens. That round just didn't fire. No problems with that one. It did have a round that hit but didn't fire. Mostly polished off that uh, that red red paper on the target there. So uh, I don't know. I'm not calling people that had issues with it a liar and saying they didn't have issues with it. I'm sure they did, as many have said it. But uh, we shot CCI, we shot some arms core, and we shot some old garbage ammo in a plastic bag I just had laying around and have not had a single, not one single malfunction from the box except for that one that hit the fire which is not the gun's fault so I'm happy with it. I'm happy how it performs I'm happy how it feels I'm very happy with how accurate it is and I would say I probably still enjoy the shooting the TX-22 just a little bit more but uh, if this is the gun it's uh, all about buying it I don't think it's a good one I hope it's a good one Yeah.